We're looking at evidence that was played in federal court of the field training exercises federal prosecutors say were carried out in a plot to storm Michigan's capital and kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. CNN affiliate WXMI obtained the video from the U.S. Attorney's Office after the preliminary hearings for six men federally charged with conspiracy to kidnap a sitting governor. Several pieces of federal evidence were played in court. I'm sick of being robbed and enslaved by the state, period. I'm sick of it. And these are the guys who are actually doing it, you know? So if, if you know, if, if we're doing a recon or something and we come up on some of them, dude, you better not give them a chance. You either tell them to go right now or else they're going to die, period. That's what it's going to be, dude, because they are the enemy, period. The suspect's alleged deeds and words were shown to the federal judge so she could decide if there was enough evidence to go to a grand jury. In this video, the lead FBI agent acknowledged in testimony that defendant Adam Fox is inside a basement appearing to be speed reloading his weapon to, quote, minimize the time that your weapon is inoperable in case of a gunfight. Prosecutors say the video was taken inside this vacuum shop in Grand Rapids. The owner of this vacuum shop says Adam Fox lived here for the last couple of weeks. He says he lived behind this door and down into the basement. Basement, where he stayed. Okay. And he was only going to stay there to one November. Why did you decide it was time for him to go? He was buying more like attachments for like an AR-15 and he was buying like food. And I'm not stupid. I was in the Marine Corps. So that I told him he had to go. Bryant Titus says he had no idea what was going on in his business's basement after hours. Right, 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 right. The FBI testified this is inside another defendant's basement where you can see an arsenal of weapons in a gun locker, including an illegal short barrel rifle. Beyond the videos, the FBI says they also infiltrated encrypted chats and text chains, laying out the plot. In one encrypted chat, the suspects allegedly use code names and discuss killing Governor Whitmer, not just kidnapping her. The FBI identified the code name Beaker as suspect Daniel Harris, who writes, Laying in bed, craziest idea, have one person go to her house, knock on the door, and when she answers, just cap her. At this point, F it. Someone with the code name text responds, LOL, only if it would be that easy. Beaker replies, I mean effing catch her walking into a building and act like passersby and fixing dome her. Then yourself, whoever does it. Why create a manhunt? Do it in broad daylight and then end it. Text replies, good point or recon the house and sniper, the alleged plot was never carried out. The six men, along with seven others, were arrested in an October FBI raid. Six were charged federally, the rest charged by the state for acts of terror.